Welcome to another Let Me Try That. I found this recipe on allrecipes.com. It is called Uncle Dick's Mashed Potatoes. I took these mashed potatoes to my friend's house. Her four-year-old that doesn't normally eat mashed potatoes ate these mashed potatoes, though she did not like the chives. I do love this recipe, and I hope that you enjoy. Forgive me as it's with my iPhone again. I'll find my charger soon. Bye. So we have here four pounds of potatoes, a cup of sour cream, a package of cream cheese. We're going to use a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of butter, a quarter tablespoon, I mean a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. It says one clove of garlic, but you know, this is like two and a half because I like garlic. Paprika. And then I've got chives, but we don't sprinkle that on until the end. So I'm gonna peel these. It says to mix them in a bowl and then transfer it to a baking dish, but I'm just gonna mix it all in the baking dish because that's less dishes. So there's my tablespoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon ground white pepper. I like many mashed potatoes to have a little bit of chunk. You can use a hand mixer if you like it super creamy. And then I just took a my spatula and wiped the sides clean so that it looked didn't look so horrible. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge overnight. It says to put it in the refrigerator for eight hours to overnight. And then when you're ready to cook it, you preheat the oven to 350, and that's when you drizzle on the melted butter. You sprinkle with paprika and bake it and then after they come out you put the chives on. I drizzled the melted butter on top and I sprinkled it with paprika. I didn't measure a half a teaspoon. I literally just sprinkled it until the top was covered. So we're gonna bake it and then cut up some chives and sprinkle the chives on top. Nice cascade technique I learned at culinary school. It's a plating technique. Good looking tater Darn right. tater pie. I just woke up. I never I realized I never filmed me rating these. I rate these an eight and a half. Although I do believe mashed potato lovers may rate them a 10 very easily. I'm a little weird when it comes to mashed potatoes. There is a sour cream and chive mashed potato that I like better. It uses Yukon Gold. Now there's two different kinds of potatoes I use for mashed potatoes. Yukon Gold tastes a little better in my opinion and russet potatoes are creamier but i'm not so big on the taste so if you look more for a creamy texture go russets or you can mix the two which i've done before also but there is a sour cream and chive recipe for mashed potatoes that uses yukon gold potatoes that i will make that i believe is a 10. these however are probably tastier than those it just depends on who you are and what you like so I rate these an eight and a half and I will I make them again it is quite possible but I will probably make the sour cream and chive ones that I usually make before I'd make these but if I am taking them to a gathering for Thanksgiving dinner or something their convenience and to have them pre-baked the day pre-made the day before and then baked the day of make them super handy so I think that might even bump them up to a nine but when I do my scale I do it based purely on taste and that's why I give these a very good eight and a half very tasty okay bye